So do y'all remember that Migos and Soldier Boy they had like some beef or something like that going on a while back? Anyway, so this is what I find interesting. It's come to a point where Migos have decided that whatever their relationship is or isn't with Soldier Boy or whatever beefs they had in the past or didn't have in the past, whatever, they're at a point right now in their relationship or non-relationship. <laughs> I got to say both sides of this that they can admit that artists that came up in their generation have, for the most part, taken a little something from what Soldier Boy had done before them. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Hey, don't forget to check out the link of the day in the description. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama, it may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it? BBN, Jack Frost, what's up, party people? I right, so, yeah. So recently, as we all know, Soldier Boy has decided to have an upswing in his career. He's decided to say, the world, the world doesn't have enough trolls. And he decided that he's going to come troll for at least 50 of them. When I say 50, I don't mean 50 trolls. I mean 50 Earths. Because his trolling game is strong. Anyway, if everybody might forget, there was a point where uh, Migos and Soldier Boy was having beef a while back. That I, I think some people might have forgot about it. I don't know if they did. Yo, funny thing though, didn't Soldier Boy do songs with the Migos? Anyway, they might not have been songs with the Migos because I think that uh, that's what I think a lot of people believe. I do think he does have songs with the Migos. Anyway, so basically, there's this guy named Zaytoven who like does beats or whatever. But what he does is he sends out. Like, he'll have a beat or whatever, dope beat or whatever. So he'll send out that beat to, like, different people. And I guess whoever does, you know, the most with the beat, he's like, oh, that's that's who he gives the beat to. Or, you know, he sends it out to a whole bunch of people, whoever's going to pay the most for the beat. Whatever it might go. Anyway, so uh, there, there was a, a verse, a song. Everybody know the Versace song. Yeah, uh, exactly. So... That's uh that was a Zaytoven beat or whatever the case was. So Quavo and uh was having a conversation where well, he was you know of the Migos. They were they were speaking. It was on a Breakfast Club and they were speaking like in 2017 or something like that. And Charlemagne asked him something about Soldier Boy or whatever, and then he was like, "F that," you know what I say? Like people do not like soldier boy man i'm gonna tell you what it is it's not that i think people don't like soldier boy i think it is before we had takashi 69 people didn't really appreciate soldier boy's trolling soldier boy doesn't troll like a takashi 69 i'm gonna do another video on that by the way not this video. That video is worth its own video. But Soldier Boy trolls different. So I think back in 2017, uh, when this question was asked, he didn't really appreciate the type of trolling that uh, Soldier Boy was doing. So it was like, you know, screw that dude or whatever the case was. So basically, Quavo has recently um, actually said, yes, a lot of rappers you know, from, from the generation that, that the Migos came up in, actually did get a lot from Soldier Boy, that Soulja Boy was not capping. He said, yo, look, people did get a lot from Soulja Boy. A lot of what Soulja Boy has done, people have, you know, done over. Hey, even Drake stole from him. So, yeah, yeah, I, um, I, I forget what song Drake did, but, you know, that listen through the phone or whatever, kiss you through the phone, Drake stole. Not for nothing, but Soulja Boy started ringtones. I think people really need to give Soldier Boy his props. I think, you know, there's a lot of artists that are better than Soldier Boy, a lot of artists that rap better than Soldier Boy, a lot of, uh, absolutely a lot of artists that dance better than the dude. I mean, 
hell, you could pick anyone. But the point is, Soulja Boy really did start a lot of of uh what we see now in mainstream mainstream i'm not even say hip-hop i don't even want to say pop culture but mainstream life on the planet he started ringtones think about that for a minute just let that sink in he started ringtones obviously i'm not trying to say you know the ding 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 i'm talking about the actual music of it think about that for a minute let that sink in Anyway, uh, Bill Boy um, asks, uh, Soldier Boy told the Breakfast Club that he gave, that he had gave them the Versace beat, and that's when um, it was clarified that he didn't give them the Versace beat. That's not how it actually happened. Jay Tovin d- gives the beat out to, and then, you know, people do whatever they're going to do. But they said they heard uh, the what he did with it. I believe it was the Oh My God song, the OMG song, and then, you know, whatever, they work from there. But I, I just want to put this out there, let people know. Look, man, Soldier Boy been out in these streets. He do a lot of weird stuff. But it seems like everything, it seems like he stayed winning. Like he'll go down for a minute and he'll come right back up with some new scheme. Like Soldier Boy is the hustler. I don't want to say the hustler's hustler. But Soldier Boy is out here in these streets hustling, yo. Um just you just can't I don't know I I think that people I think that after Takashi 69 people just have a certain appreciation now for a way that soldier the the way that soldier boy trolls and it's just not that it's more respected but it's more accepted you understand what I'm saying if that makes any sense you know when you troll when soldier boy trolls you you don't have to worry about him trying to shoot at you you know yeah you know, he's just trolling you. He's really not trying to sh- to kill you or make it look like he's trying to kill you. It's just a difference. Oh, yeah. Allegedly. Allegedly. We don't know if Takashi 6 9 had anything to do with any of those anythings. As far as I'm concerned, it was somebody else trying to make it look like he did it. Or, as far as I'm concerned, he was the mastermind. Exactly. I'm not going one way or the other on this. It could be anyway. We're going to see what happens when the courts pop up. I'm, I'm just, I'm not laughing at his situation. I'm laughing at the fact that I could just imagine, just see the comment section. You're going to have like a hundred people accusing me of either thing. So I just said both things. So, you know, whatever. Anyway, um, leave it down in the comment section. I want to know what y'all think about this. Like did soldier boy really start? a lot of what we consider and i'm not just talking about hip-hop y'all i'm talking about what we consider to just be normal everyday life in america soldier boy got nintendo to sue him that's how you know you moving up in the world when a billion dollar company says look man you doing too much seriously man i'm just getting like threats from rappers i mean high class rappers and i'm not saying threats like death threats i'm talking about to get sued i'm talking about lawsuit stuff i'm not gonna say nobody's name because i don't want them to come back with no bs but yeah i'm getting i'm getting those type of lawsuits i'm getting i'm getting people asking me to take down videos and stuff like that or you know that type of not freaking billion dollar companies (laughs) That isn't even in my... Come on, man. I'm telling you right now. If Xbox tried to sue me, I'd, I'd, I, whatever the thing is that they wanted to wanted to ask me to do so they don't sue me, I would hold that thing off so we can make sure that everybody in the world knew Xbox wanted to sue me. I'm dead serious because that's going to immediately up my... I'm not even a clout chaser. Anybody that's ever been on this channel, y'all already know. But that's the type of clout that you got to chase. Xbox trying to sue me? Nintendo trying to sue me? PS4 trying to sue me? Nah, 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 nah. Everybody got to know. Anyway, leave it down in the comment section. I want to know what you, I want also, I want to know this, this seriously. I want to know what would you do if a Nintendo or Xbox or a PlayStation or even like just Sony or 
I don't know, like tried to sue you, sue you. You understand what I'm saying? Like what, and you was like, you know, obviously in the media, what would, or, you know, uh, a celebrity of some kind, what would you do? Would you say, nah, I want everybody to know this? Or would you say, nah, let's just kill this. I don't want nobody to find out about this. You know, I'm, a, I'm embarrassed. Or, you know, just, it's not worth the hassle. Or would you be like, nah, I want everybody to know about this. This shit got to be documented. Let me know what, let me know what y'all think about that. Seriously, because I am interested. Facts. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombs. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.